Five whys is a root cause tool that's executed by asking a series of whys, starting with an observed failure. So let me demonstrate this with an example. By the way, you can download this template off the SixSigma.org website in the download section. So let's suppose that my car won't start. So what is the failure? Uh, I'll put in here the car won't start. And then we begin our five whys by asking, well, why did this occur? And let's suppose the answer to that is, well, it ran out of gasoline. Now, there's a couple of things I will do here. Um, I want to try and get confirmation of that uh, when I can. So I move across here and I say, well, how is that confirmed? Maybe I did some sort of a manual fuel level check and realized or uh, confirmed that, in fact, uh, it did run out of gasoline. If no confirmation is necessary, then I just simply move down to the next Y. So then I uh, carry on with the five Ys and I ask, well, why did this occur? In other words, why did I run out of gasoline? So why did that occur? Well, perhaps I forgot to fill up the car. Uh, do I need that confirmed? Yeah, I keep my receipts and you know what? The last receipt available shows that it's been some time. Okay. Then we move on to the next Y. So why did this occur? And that this in this case is I forgot to fill it up. So why did I forget to fill it up? Well, the fuel gauge is not working. Okay, do I confirm that? Yes. How is this confirmed? Well, maybe through some fuel gauge testing, perhaps. Okay. Uh, then I'll scroll down a little bit here. Then I move on and I say, okay, uh, why did this occur? Well, I forgot to have it repaired. All right. And I know that maybe through some maintenance records for the car. And then perhaps finally, uh, why did I have to get it repaired? Well, I didn't put it on the repair list when it broke. Now, uh, there's no magic to the five whys. There could be fewer to isolate uh, or get to root cause, or there could be more, but generally five is a good number. Now, once you've reached what you believe is root cause, there's a couple of things we can do to check it. And uh, the one technique that I demonstrate here is uh, to take the last uh, statement that you've recorded here. In this case, I didn't put it on the repair list when it broke, and try and um, logically connect this statement to the previous statement using the therefore technique. So, how does this work? Like this. I didn't put it on the repair list when it broke and, and of course uh, I didn't put it in this case is the, uh, is the fuel gauge. So I didn't put the fuel gauge on the repair list when it broke therefore I forgot to have it repaired. And I forgot to have it repaired therefore the fuel gauge is not working and the fuel gauge is not working, therefore I forgot to fill up the car with gasoline. And I forgot to fill up the car with gasoline, therefore it ran out of gasoline, and it ran out of gasoline, therefore the car won't start. Now if you can make logical connections between adjacent statements, like we did beginning down here at the bottom, uh, then it is likely you've, you've found root cause. Uh, there's instructions here in the template on, uh, on, on how you actually execute. There's seven steps and of course I just very briefly walk through those. I do want to emphasize though that uh, the five whys should be grounded in observation not deduction and so there's always a tendency for teams that I've been involved with to do this in an isolated environment, a conference room or a war room uh, and use the technique uh, based on deduction or uh, rationale. Um, but really the five whys was always intended to be grounded in observation and if you do that you will have a lot of luck with this uh, very useful but simplistic root cause tool. Uh, go to the sixsegment.org website for more information about uh, five whys uh, training that we have online and uh, also uh, other tools and uh, and help available out on the website as well. Thanks for watching the video.